bienvenidos de nuevo to I'll Buy the Popcorn. Si son nuevos aquí, yo me llamo Stephanie. Gracias a todos por clicking on this video. Ya llegamos, es el final, you guys. Ya se acabó la novela. Oh my goodness. Well, technically se acaba mañana. So mañana me van a mirar en otro outfit. Most likely my scrubs. Con eso les quiero agradecer a todos los que estuvieron conmigo estas que fueron 13 semanas o well, 13 semanas y un día. <laughs> todos los que pusieron un comment en one of my videos, no más quiero que sepan que like that really made my day. Thank you, like much love to all of you guys. Este es su primer video. Where have you been? But it's okay. No estoy enojada. Pero no se preocupen porque down in the description box voy a tener como siempre all my 12 other recaps for you to go and enjoy very, very easily. Todos los videos tienen the past uh, recaps on there, so no tienen que come back to this one. Son novelera, pero la que se va a seguir después de esta, la que se va a empezar para el martes, se mira muy buena. No sé si la voy a mirar o no, pero a lo mejor sí, pero no voy a hacer mis recaps. A lo mejor nomás hay chequenme en el Twitter porque I'm probably just be live tweeting about it. I love with that said, for the last time, let's get on with this recap. Pues para empezar, nomás quiero decir que para que sea la última semana, like the final, final semana, no incluyendo el de lunes. It's been kind of like, mm, for me. Se me hace que it should have been like more exciting. Así como estaba, like hace dos semanas cuando regresó del, del break. I feel como this should have been like way more exciting. Like, estaba exciting, pero no estaba así como like, oh my God, it's the final week. Ah, you know, me, me entienden, like. Yo soy la única que me sentí así como, like, no, like, se me hace que tú, it should have been, like, up here, my anxiety level, but it was, like, right here, you know, and, like, last semana, like, que fue, like, two weeks ago, my anxiety level was about right there, so, I don't know what they're doing, so, yo no más sé que pa mañana, my anxiety level better be, like, way up there, don't disappoint me, Telemundo, don't disappoint me. So, vamos a empezar... The last week. Vamos a empezar con la Galletana y Sofía. We're just gonna go ahead and get them out the way. Porque obviamente, you know, like acá con Teresa, Epifanio, Alejandro, that's where all more juicy stuff is happening. So Sofía y la Galletana. <laughs> Yo no le digo la abuela. What, what? La Galletana to todavía está tratando de agarrar su venganza por su hijo que was technically an accident. This is fault, porque si no estaba tratando de, like, rape Paloma, then you know what? We wouldn't have been in that situation and your ass would still be alive. Pero it is what it is and you dip. So, la Kitana pues se va and, like, sneaks into the house. Which, by the way, ella se había metido in your house. Well, mind you, la misma persona que se metió la primera vez se está metiendo ahora a tu casa, okay? And then, like, Two, like you're basically kind of like held hostage here in your own house. And then three, tienes uh, your granddaughter, que nobody needs to know that she's alive. What the heck? Todavía que tengo unos perros or like something. Unas cámaras. Like there's no security there. We get this very like dramatic like night scene on the La Gitana literally like just walking and like touching the grass as she's going down. Very dramatic. Not like sneaking around with that. No, no es como like voy a correr atrás este árbol like do I see somebody like you know like jumping and like you know trying to like like you sneaking in somewhere no 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 this bitch she's just like walking like touching the grass and has like vengeance on her mind strolls right up into her house para lo que a mí se me hacía que la puerta estaba deslaqueada o sea what That's a no-no. I don't care where the hell you're at. You always lock that damn door. So they keep people be having their doors a lot. Of, okay, what can in? This is in full house. Bueno, pues la gitana, pues, you know, she strolls up into the house. Allí, pues, ahí vea cuando está la, la casa, pues, está un poquito más, you know, like, uh, pink panther in it. But, like, not really. Y, pues, va y encuentra el cuarto de Sofía. And she, like, goes in y cierra la puerta. Tiene su, su bag. It's not, like, Pone la bolsa y, like, it's up at King Sofía. Uh, wait, but before I go any further. Tanto que la estaba entrenando Teresa. Did she never go over, like, popping the damn bag? I kept saying, pop the fucking bag. Pop it! Todo lo que le enseñó y no le enseñaste es que, oh, somebody can maybe put a bag over your head. Try not to panic. Calm down. And pop the bag. Anyways, entra la abuela y le... Like, knocks her out with something. Um, la llevan allá a los tables. They kind of have her tied up. Después está 
la abuela con una pistola, dice a Charro que vaya con Sofía y le dice a the groundskeeper, I don't know his name, que vaya y le hable a la policía. La gitana has a freaking like knife y está atrás en en es like, you know, tratando de like break free y la galletana and her they're just talking and then she at the scene and I'm like why you don't check her? Si está moviéndose mucho, like I would be like, would you go back there? Obviamente, she breaks free, they kind of rustle a little bit, y luego she takes off, porque le empieza a disparar. She kind of gets sneak attack, y ta, ya, ya en ese momento ya está Sofía allí. I don't know where the hell Charro es, porque, like, te dijeron to go and be with her. Y that was a minute in there. So, obviamente, you were, I guess she was looking for her in the house. I don't know. Next thing you know, they're fighting, y luego viene Charro. And then la gitana, boom, like stabs her and like punches the groundskeeper. En ese momento es cuando ya agarra la abuela la pistola. En ese momento ya es cuando le dice with the gun there, vas a ser abuela, pero nunca la vas a conocer. Boom. And that is the end of la gitana. And luego it took him a minute to like run over there to Charro. I was just like, that, that's a long minute. Y pues la favorita de Charro had the longest monologue ever of death, pero she said her piece. Y ya le dijo también a la galletana to please, like, try to do good upon her other grandchildren. I mean, I think it went on for like five minutes, and I'm like, um, Charro, I, know I don't want you to die, but like, if you're gonna die, you need to die already, because like, was it, we're in the last week, so we can't be having these long ass monologues, because we need to see what else is going on. So, Charro también is dead. And we like fast forward a little bit. La Galletana like gets a hold of her lawyer y luego va to the police station y she turns herself in. So ella now en este punto, she's uh, taking blame for the murder of the baby daddy de Paloma. She goes and, you know, le dice like, gives the, the cops his story and todo and she's like, no, pues, I'm confessing. This is like her way of kind of trying to do good, which in my thing is like, you should have just waited until like, ya Teresa vino, porque it's like, if you're in jail, Teresa está en México, no sabes si Teresa's gonna be alive or not. I mean, I get you're trying to do good upon your other grandkids, but like, you do have this other young grandchild with you, so you're just gonna leave her with your groundskeeper. But in this moment, you're the only thing that Sofia has. Mejor, like, you should have waited and then, like, dar tu paz con, like, your other two granddaughters and be like, lo, lo siento, whatever. Y no te preocupes, I'm gonna do right upon you. And then, like, next thing you know, she's in the police station giving her false statement to, like, commit to the murder of, of this kid. Like, se me hace que that should have been better. Be Porque en este momento es como, ¿qué fregos va a pasar con Sofia? I mean, I mean, I get it. Eventually, Teresa la va a agarrar para atrás, pero, like, en este momento, like, you're having an investigation. They may hold you. I don't know. So, like, yeah, es lo último que I'm going to say about them. A ver qué pasa tomorrow. So, vamos a ir acá really quickly con Ole, con Rocío, con Sánchez Godoy. So, Ole comes up with this plan to uh, break out El Colombiano y Anton out of prison. Anton, right? Is that his name? Damn it, I forgot his name. Well, anyway, it's too late. We're at the end. The other guy. El plan was too... Cuando estaba pasando, I'm just like... What the fuck? Either way, Ole comes in a helicopter. They're running. Los guardianes, and they're like, oh, it's an escape plan. Find the alarms. N nobody's coming. Nobody, obviamente, nobody's there at the yard. Nobody's really shooting at anybody. I don't, I don't get it. Uno le quería disparar al helicopter. They said no. Pero por qué? Why didn't they like shoot like Anton or El Colombiano? I mean, I guess they maybe bought them, but like everybody? Like, no matter how those two guards. It's a fucking prison. Where are the other guards at? Why was nobody shot? Like, at least Anton had been shot. I didn't see even El Colombiano. I really didn't think they were good. I was like, Rocio or Colombiano, one of them might die. I was like, I'm over here, we try to kill people. But, oh, and then, yeah, they like fly away. Y luego they go and they're at this like open field. Y ya está ahí Rocío talking about, te dije que no los ibas a casar en la prisión. And then, like, they take off. Oleg takes off somewhere else. I don't know. That whole scene was pretty lame. Honestly, was pretty lame. I would have preferred them to do some kind of like fucking prison break kind of shit like that would have been like way better or like some Shawshank Redemption going gone out to the damn sewers or some 
pero like es like it made no sense like a poco así like because if, if, if cualquiera puede venir con un helicopter why i mean i'm sure que hay otros like drug lords in in the prison why is nobody else having an idea of, like oh just hover a helicopter over drop this and i'm gonna we are you know enganchar and we're gonna just fly away nobody's gonna shoot at us Apparently, like, there's no helicopter police people to, like, follow our head. I don't know. We're, we're gonna just move. That was, it was lame. It was disappointment for it to be, ya el último. We're, we're gonna move past it. Había de haber hablado de Oleg primero, pero obviamente como miramos que Oleg está vivo y miramos esta semana que, you know, ya se despertó, asustó a Batman. Like, this whole plan. Batman le dice, no, pues yo tengo toda la información to bring... Um, Epifanio down, le dice como he's been plotting his revenge for the past like nine years y que he's just really been the whole he's been like around y todavía trabajando con él porque you know that whole keep your um, enemies closer kind of deal, he was really like it, it's been so hard for me pero like I've been waiting for my opportunity. But the reunion between Oleg y Teresa kind of happened how I wanted it to I, I wanted it a little bit more dramatic and luego luego right Right away, un plan, tenemos un plan. So we're gonna leave Oleg y como estamos más o menos con Batman, let's go ahead and go with Batman really quickly. So, la información que le estaba dando a Oleg es la información que tenía el Barry con su daughter. You know, ya le estaba prometiendo, ya es tiempo, I'm gonna have, you know, bring you justice. So ya cuando estaban teniendo su little meeting, Teresa, Oleg, Batman, I think some other people were there too, um, le está diciendo... But my, you know, like, que es lo que quiere ser. You know, he need, he deserves su revenge y todo. Y Teresa le está diciendo, well, we kind of have to wait. Porque ahorita, like, our primary goal right now, en este momento va a ser Alejandro. Um, you're going to get your revenge, but you just have to be patient. Y Batman is like, no, no, no. Like, you don't, I mean, oh, my God, that scene was like, oh, it was a little touching. It really was. Uh, porque, you know, he's been through a lot. He's suffered so much. He lost his whole family. And todavía para tener que trabajar con la persona who you believe sent to kill your your family. Porque I don't believe. Did he, did Epifanio? I think it was just the ratas, right, that just went like crazy and killed the family. Epifanio didn't, no lo mandó a matar, right? I don't think he did. Porque he's been denying it. Yeah, I would think que por lo menos a Alejandro would have like said it on the down low. But I don't remember. Did he? Let me know in the comment section below. Because I don't remember que Epifanio diera, diera esa orden. I mean, hasta él le ha dicho, yo no mato niños. So I think it was just a rata that was crazy as fucking self. Obviamente él no le gustó esa parte de tener que esperar más tiempo en esa iPad. Man, but masito, you should have just waited just a little bit longer. Uh, well, anyway, we're gonna fast forward. Este Epifanio tiene un rally. Batman viene and cuando Epifanio dijo algo de la familia, we kind of like really triggered and it made him see red. So sacó la pistola and he was literally going to shoot him. Right before he got to shoot him, well, somebody shot Epifanio in the chest. So ahora, obviamente, la gente piensa que Batman es el que uh, attempted the assassination on the future president. Teresa, ya cuando lo mira, dice, like, I told you to wait. Batman le dice, he said the story, que no, no fue él. Like, trust me, if it was me, he would have been dicks. I would have shot him in the head. But it wasn't me. I'm being framed on it. So, now, that's where we're at with Batman. Vamos a con Ray y Jonathan. So, they kind of come up con un plan, ¿verdad? To, to get to Alejandro by Danilo. And all I had to say is that Ray, like, literally took one for the team. Like he played his part very well on seducing uh, Danilo. Rey basically emborracha a Danilo. You know, they're supposed to be taking shot, shot, shot. Pero nomás Danilo se queda tomando los shots and he like throws them over the shoulder, you know, puts them down. If you ask, yeah, so I would be like, oh. <laughs> now I drink them, but before I wouldn't drink them. I would just be like, shh. And I keep platicando and everything. Y they end up like kissing and... Yeah, el último he ends up passing out. Oh, very really quickly con su relación con Jimena, it's no more. Lo quebró, le dice, no, I cannot be with you. Porque of your grandfather, like, I'm not gonna have any children with the Vargas last name. And of course, and just like leaves. Like, it was like, literally, he ripped that bandy right out and was like, no. And left. Va y habla con Paloma y luego le dice que how he broke up with... Uh, Jimena le dice la razón y Paloma son like, but she has nothing to do with it. What does a granddaughter have to do with what the grandfather did? 
pues nada, nada, ¿verdad? Pero he's like, no, 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 I just can't do it, no. Um, y obviamente ya le dice a Paloma, well, like, what about me and you? Like, let's give us a chance. Y yeah, a Paloma's all like, no. Like, yo tengo que empezar en myself, en my baby. Luego cuando Rey le dice, pues, like, is there any kind of chance that un día podemos estar juntos? And she said, no. And they walked off like a G. Yes, girl. Mad respect for you. Mad respect. You don't need a little fuckboy in your life. No. Sí, acá con Epifanio. So, Epifanio ya tiene su, like, better meaning con Teresa y también va Lupo. Y ya están ahí hablando de cómo uh, Alejandro, pues, es el DJ. Y he's setting him up. Y how he befriended him. Y cómo there's this bigger plot. Y cómo son los títeres. Son los flashbacks que tenían con Epifanio when he was realizing, like, the truth. Like, todo esos cositas, you know, when you're, like... You see it, ¿verdad? Cuando it's happening, pero no lo miras in the way that it's supposed to be seen. On the assassination attempt, I was kind of lost a little bit porque dice Bifanio that he staged it. But at the same time, I don't think it was. I think like just like the paramedic portion was staged. Either way it goes, he had a bulletproof vest on. He got shot in the chest. He got the ambulance to like be there ready for him. And don't let anybody on the ambulance but Beba because he just wanted to make sure that see if she really knew something about like the whole assassination attempt or not. So I was kind of like lost, but oh, like it's like maybe he just, I mean, I guess because he just knew the assassination thing was gonna happen, but like what are the odds of him actually have been shot in the chest? I feel like if I was gonna do it, like I would go for the head. Just to make sure that you die. I don't know. So I'm kind of lost. Let me know in the comment section below. Because he didn't know, right? Who shot him. I mean, that's what I got from it. He didn't know. He only knew that they were going to attempt to kill him. But he was prepared con toda la situación. Luego sobrevivió um, su assassination attempt. Estaba en el hospital y llegó Alejandro. Like, he literally called him out on it. Well, I mean, prior to that, ya le había dicho a Beba the stuff about the brother. Y ya cuando llegó, dijo, ya no metes you know, like, bullshitting me, like, I know that you're DA, I know you're trying to kill me, and, like, y le está dando toda la información that he knows. Y, pues, Alejandro, obviamente, he's, like, denying it, y que, ¿de dónde está dando esa información? Y luego, ya, por fin, ya, he kind of, like, put, puts it together. Ah, Teresa Mendoza, ¿verdad? And then he, like, of course, like, tries to, like, flip it, porque Beba is obviously, like, like, what, what, whose side am I going to be on? Like, my brother's side or my husband's side? Y pues obviamente Alejandro wants her to kind of be on his side. And, like, really flips it. And it's like, pues, ¿por qué no le dices de Teresa? Like, ¿por qué no le dices que, like, we hire her to come here? Dile how we kidnapped her child. Y ya llega la policía y le dice, no, you're off the security. We're going to be escorting him and we're going to be his bodyguards from, from this point on. And, you know, that's going to be, like, you know, push, pushes Alejandro off to the side. So, ahora, I'm really starting to think que a lo mejor si va a ser presidente. Like, for real, for real. So, te parece que eso ya fue todo con Epifanio. Y como estamos aquí con Alejandro, let's go ahead and just, just jump on over here con Alejandro. Alejandro's mini me dice, pues, que ahora él va a ser el que va a tener que hacer el trabajo de asesinar a Epifanio. Y Alejandro's all like, pues, no va a ser posible porque, like, nobody can really get close to Epifanio now, and Epifanio doesn't even want him around to start off with. He, we're gonna make it seem ahora como un accident, like a freak accident, va a ser como like a heart attack or like an, um, a stroke, aneurysm, I don't know, something. And apparently they, they have like this little poison. Pero le dicen, no, pues no van a saber que eres tú. Porque, you know, he's gonna take it, y basically como hasta tres días después, you know, it's when the day's gonna be done. So there, there's no way que they're gonna be able to pin this on you. Y que es un, uh, un veneno, like, untraceable kind of deal because it's like some fucking like government shit. En el medio de todo esto es cuando ya por fin le habla um, Danilo le habla a Alejandro para decirle que lo ayude. Y es cuando después Teresa se pone en el teléfono and it's like oh now él se da cuenta that Danilo is kidnapped. Ya saben dónde está so they're like okay we're gonna have to like kill everybody who's there basically. Y Alejandro is all like no 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 pero like Danilo you have to say Danilo. So, like, nobody's really, like, asking any questions. So, mi cosa es, like, does the DEA, do they know that he's gay? And nomás la gente de México que no, and, like, his sister? Porque, like, I feel like the way that he was pushing on no le hagan daño a Danilo, Danilo has to survive, like, 
I feel like if I was a mini me, I would have been like, ¿Qué es tan importante de, de Danilo? Like, why do you want him alive? Like, he's just a civilian. Like, who is he to you? If he happens to get shot in the crossfire, well, you know what? That's just a casualty that's gonna happen. Como estamos acá con su sexualidad, we're just gonna, like, rewind a little bit to earlier in la semana. Cuando le estaba diciendo el mini me que se tiene que encontrar una esposa, que tiene una semana para encontrarse una, una esposa, y eso fue algo que se me olvidó decir la semana pasada how they're gonna want him to have a first lady porque obviamente he's a president I don't think there's ever really been un presidente without a first lady so um, you know like obviamente they feel like the public responds and will respect you better if you are married yeah, you know obviamente he's all like well I don't have anybody kind of deal well you're gonna have to find somebody y que tal they say some name they say no 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 We ended up in bad terms. My guess is she found out he's gay and that was the bad terms that they ended up in. But Olivia said, well, you're gonna have to find somebody. And if you don't, it's gonna have to be this chick. Um, so basically, like, girl, va a ser su beard. Um, and then for those of you who don't know, like, a beard, you don't want society to know that you are gay and you're trying to, like, put this image of yeah i'm like heterosexual you get somebody to pretend to be your significant other or your boyfriend whatever some people like are literally married because but they have like their side people because they have an image that they have to portray so that's what um that's the reference that i'm going not by like an actual like beard so yeah so we're gonna come back over here <laughs> So Epifanio le habla a Alejandro, they're gonna do this meeting. El mini me is all like we're gonna go and I kind of got a little bit confused there though too. Porque it's like they're gonna go. Pues Alejandro dice que estaba a estar con Epifanio, right? Y acá mini me is trying to um to get Teresa and some people, right? So like did Alejandro I didn't I wasn't too sure if Alejandro knew where he was going with Debbie Fire because I mean they ended up driving they were together and they ended up there con Teresa. Obviamente si sabía que he was gonna be over there with Teresa, like he would have like text Mini Me and to team where they were gonna hit up the cleaners but he let no you're in the wrong place, come over here. But they did it. Teresa like basically outs them out to Epifanio and Epifanio pretty much took it pretty well, honestly, because it could have been like much worse. And I guess obviously like given the circumstances, I mean like that's beside the point of his sexuality. I can't remember exactly qué fue lo que dijo Teresa. Alejandro se enojó, pulled out the gun, and the lupo lo ataca, and they're like wrestling, y ya, yeah. You know, Alejandro is like tamed. And they're like, chequenlo. And yes, cuando they're like checking him. Y ya le encuentran la little bio. And they're like looking like, pues, ¿qué es esto? Kind of deal, right? That's the end of that. So, ya con lo último, vamos a ir acá con el zurdo. Pues, el zurdo, obviamente, is like pissed off at Teresa for good reason. I mean, I get it. Lo traicionó. I mean, él cayéndose del helicóptero. That's his own fault. Yeah, they're like tracking Teresa with her little tracker. Y they're trying to figure out where she's going. Cuando se dan cuenta, when they're in the, in the cleaners con Danilo, se dan cuenta que he's outside. Y Teresa like takes off y se va a una bodega. Y esta ahí donde tiene, pues, es una de las bodegas de zurdo. Ends up burning his money. I'm just like, oh my God. That like hurt me. Like, I could have used that money. Pues antes de que le quemara su... Su dinero, pues, están ahí, like, they're, like, talking and discussing, and, like, you know, they're, ¿por qué me traicionaste? So, yeah, obviously, like, that conversation was gonna go nowhere. Y, you know, money goes blazing. And, and then, like, I'm sort of like, no, no, he's a little crippled ass. He's over there. What the hell are you gonna do when this big ass fire? What happens? He ends up burning his damn leg. You already all jacked up. Now you're gonna have, like, second or third degree burns, like, ya se da cuenta uh, Teresa que, que, you know, he's using her own tracker. Le pone a Teresa una nota con el little tracker there que adiós is the end of us. Y obviamente el zurdo is all like, I've lost her forever. And obviamente, he was like, of course he's not gonna let it go. He starts thinking like, what was she doing at the cleaners? Like, is that her place? Like, hmm, I don't know. We gotta go. So, agarra su men. It ends up resultando que the cleaners donde ya el zurdo is like gonna go and see what he can find. Es donde va a ir, donde viene también el, el team de Alejandro con su mini-me. And so, they're all there. The DEA team ends up taking out 
uh, Absurdo's whole team. It's so funny because they've been doing like classical music um, for a lot of the the, the scenes y para this one they put like a corridito como ya era el final del zurdo pues they ended up putting un corridito pero yeah el zurdo también is no more he got he got shot a lot of times it was so funny though porque before he got shot when he was going in tanto de la camina it's like a really like dramatic deal y luego here comes zurdo with his like big ass gun y la ta con su cane your leg all like burnt and you already weren't walking right so you know you need all that balance and you like walking with your little cane and i'm just like dude like sit your ass down and just retire be with your daughter no you do none of that because you're fucking dead so eso ya fue todo para la última semana que para mañana that episode better be so good but uh everything to be kind of closed in one hour y luego todavía hay fucking commercials. A mí se me hace todavía como hay, hay bastantes cosas that are left unanswered. A mí se me hace que like los últimos like 15, 20 minutes es cuando everything's gonna be like really like crushed in. Honestly, no estaría sorprendida si va a pasar como like una semana después, dos meses después. Porque like are we gonna even get to see Rocio and El Colombian actually get married? Are we gonna see Paloma's baby? What the hell's gonna happen to Sofia? What is gonna happen to the abuela? What the hell's gonna happen between Teresa and, and, and oh, oh yeah, uh, Teresa and Lupo end up sleeping together again. That happened. I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Honestly, at this moment, I have lost like so much respect for Teresa. Like, I had so much for her, and she's so such a strong woman, and yet you get like, I don't, I do not want these people to end up together. Like. Uh, no, get el punto of you killing Tell Lynn. I get it, like Tell screwed you over. Pero Lupo, that was you though, right? She's he screwed you over. He did you wrong. Pero Lupo literally, that is, I literally, you know, manipulated his way into your life to get you to fall in love with him. Wh whether it was to fall in love with you or just to befriend you, I mean, I'm pretty sure part of the plan was. To make him fall for you so you can be able to tell him information. Stole your child. Took your child away from you for months. This you guys está viniendo de, from the non-mom. Remember, I am not even a mother. So, si tú eres mamá, like, like, let me know what your thoughts about this are. And again, como ha dicho las last time, las last few weeks. Oh, it's porque estoy enamorada. Like, oh my god, that's a bunch of bullshit. He stole your child. He took your child out of your life for months. Manipulated you, lied to you, was basically selling you out, like in a way kind of like selling you out too because like all two secrets was then being like told I got to Epifanio to the DEA to be used against you. So if you're not gonna kill Lupo or in this case just cut him out of your life, what was the point of you doing this to tell? You're leaving this other asshole in your life who, in my opinion, ha hecho peor de lo que hizo tell. I don't care que si la trató bien en todo eso. That is beside the point. He took your child out of your life, out of the safety of your arms to get you to do something you didn't want. But there you go. Fucking him. As odd as it was, you sleeping with Jonathan, Honestly, I would have preferred for you to have woken up the other day next to Jonathan instead of, of Lupo because of some bunch of bullshit. What, what, are, what are your guys' opinions about that? I mean, this better just be sex and not, not a, I'm gonna end up with this guy and I'm gonna, for, oh my God. She better not end up with him tomorrow, you guys. She better not end up with him tomorrow. So, that's it for today. I'll do my actual tomorrow. Whew. You guys, my, my, my blood is boiling. <laughs> See you tomorrow, you guys. 24 hours later. Lo bueno es que Teresa y Lupo no, no se quedaron juntos. I guess that, that's the upside of it. Pero, like, what kind of a fucking finale was that shit? Oh, th 13 weeks, you guys. Pa que lo den eso. Really? Telemundo? Really? Okay, pues vamos a ir. Por la última hora de la novela.
Y vamos a empezar con Alejandro. Teresa, Lupo, Alejandro y el Pifanio, um, they got in the car, they were taking off, porque venían uh, the DEA en su helicopter. They kind of snuck in Alejandro in there to like take off. Y they're like shooting at the truck. Alejandro's like, tienes que dejarle saber que I'm in here, you gotta let them know that I'm in here. And obviously they're like, shut up. So they go under this little like white tarp deal, whatever. Um, están llegando y está ya esperando los pues either the army or the police whoever they're supposed to be um but all todo is kind of part of a bigger like plan they get under there they get stopped por el army or la policía yo no sé qué son los bajan el carro they're you know porque tienen las pistolas and everything um somewhere around there lupo decides to kind of take matters to his own hands and le quiere quitar la pistola a uno de los um police people y, and they kind of start like fighting y en eso Alejandro kind of takes that as an advantage se lleva la troca and he takes off and Teresa's like shooting after him and Teresa didn't really run too much and I feel like she should have y casi en ese momento donde ella ya paró de dispararle y Alejandro's like taking off y está fuera el helicopter esperando and they have like the little um rocket launcher I was like pues ojalá que the rocket launcher like you know, shoots him, it was kind of like, light bulb, this is a plan, right? Y como estaban ahí, cuando they, they were taking off, like, Teresa and Lupo, they're kind of like chilling back here in the back. They don't really seem to be muy concerned con la policía que está allá atrás. And I'm like, that's a Scooby game, right? Y yeah, si resulta que era, so again, agarramos our last little magic trick. Look over here, por acá está pasando todas las cosas. En el momento que Alejandro llega al final, pues, da su mini mía allá afuera and like gives you order to launch the rocket. And he's all like, no, y pum, Alejandro, it's no more. Honestly, después de que pasó eso, el resto del episodio just kind of went, y just before I forget, I want to apologize for my appearance porque obviously se acaba de acabar la novela. I'm ready for bed. If I look too shiny, that's my serums and my moisturizer. Big ass forehead may look bigger than normal. So don't mind it. Actually, vamos a ir acá really quick con um, Epifanio y Beba. Uh, ya cuando llega el, uh, Epifanio a la casa, Beba le dice, pues, ¿qué pasó? Y Epifanio es like, pues, lo que tenía que pasar. Vamos a dejar a Epifanio y a Beba por ahorita y vamos a ir acá con la galletana. So, ya por fin la galletana is trying to do good upon her grandkid. La muerte de Charro, like, really, like, affected her a lot porque, I mean, that was, like, her best friend. You know, como miramos um, this past week, que, you know, fue a la policía y se entregó que she was the one that killed Uh, Paloma's baby daddy. Y luego ahora miramos que ya estaba con el abogado. Y el abogado le dice, make sure you get all your affairs taken care of because nomás tienes unos días. La guitarra está aquí. Ah, claro que sí, ya está todo. Like, we're, we're, we're situated here. Quiero que todo mi estate, like, make sure, like, my estate and, like, all my money basically be, be distributed evenly between my three granddaughters. So ya por fin has, like, forgiven Paloma and Rocío and has put them back into her will and testament and... Basically, she ends up killing herself. She, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming if it was the chocolates, if it wasn't the chocolates, it was el vino, or it could have been a combination of both. Where she got these poisonous chocolates from, I don't know, porque they never said. So we're gonna just fast forward really quickly con uh, Teresa y con Paloma, que cuando llegan para atrás a España a recoger a Sofía, ya encuentran a la galletana muerta. So también la abuela is no more. Y vamos a ir acá con el Scooby game. Oh my god, ese fue the worst scene ever. Todo like happy, 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 happy. I mean, it was like happy, sad. I mean, I wasn't sad porque yo estaba como like, eso es lo que me estás dando? Like, no, no, I don't need this. Y if people were gonna like, give me this, me lo había dado como un montage, like a quick little abrazo, abrazo, kiss, 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 but like a, like a nice little quick montage con tu clásico music that you've been giving me pero no, lo que agarramos es que cada quien dijeron sus goodbyes, donde van a ir y pues, claro, Rocío y Sancho Godoy, pues they go to Colombia, Paloma suddenly approves of el colombiano talk about, me la cuidas, and like all like uh -huh. Paloma le dice a a Ray que le va a poner a su, a su hijo Remundo, cause she's having a boy by the way, we never see this kid Okay, no más. She's still pregnant by the end of this. Batman and Shayla end up together. I don't know where they end up to. No más que they're gonna Shayla está con un cowboy hat and she's gonna stay with Batman. 
Y obviamente Batman se le olvidó que he wanted su revenge against Epifanio. Like, he seemed all happy dandy. And la Coneco que agarra una carta de somebody. I think it was like the ex-boyfriend or somebody. Y que si va a ir con Teresa, por mejor se va a ir con el jovencito. So good for you, Conejo. And then, um, we don't really know qué va a pasar con Ray. They just kind of threw him off. Jonathan, cuando se murió Alejandro, ya se despidió Teresa de él. So, I guess se queda en el DA. I don't know what, what's going on with him because they try to kill him. So, where, where is he going? I don't know. Teresa y Oleg say their goodbyes, pero not before Oleg le dice a Teresa que los Estados Unidos y Rusia were working together para agarrar el próximo presidente de México. Y que eso fue como they kind of got his involvement into this was because they were in on it as well. No, that came out of like left field. Pero también, we don't see Lupo anymore either. What happened to him? I don't know. Beba, of course, is just like, you know, oh, porque, okay, so hold on. Si pasaron meses después, como dije, I was like, va a pasar semanas o meses. I'm like, I doubt it, it was going to be years. But I was like, there for sure tiene que pasar meses. Y sí, so llegamos meses después y ya era the um, election day. Epifanio vino siendo presidente. Of course, Beba was like sad and angry porque ganó. Dijo, you got everything that you wanted. But basically, como al costo de su hermano. And then she ends up like walking out. Lo deja. And her, she got pregnant after Paloma. But yeah, her water broke. Se mira para abajo. She looks over there at Epifanio. No se mueve. No hace nada todavía. I think it would have been more dramatic if you just saw her like coming out and you just left the camera there. ¿Qué va, qué va a hacer? Like, ¿se va a escapar con el bebé? Because, obviamente, no quiere estar con Epifanio anymore. I mean, honestly, lo había hecho antes de que él sido presidente. Pero it's just like, what's going on there? ¿Qué va a pasar? Like, we don't know. Like, are you leaving the poor woman there, like, just pregnant forever? Yo le dice a Teresa que ella y Sofía for them to go and, like, disappear. But no le digan a nadie. And again, we don't know where they ended up. Basically, así como cuando se acabó la primera temporada, cuando they were, she was in Italy, we didn't know where she was at. She's in somewhere, some kind of beach. I don't know, is it the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Virgin Islands? I don't know, she got enough money to buy her own damn island. Pero claro, allá al último, pues miramos que Cotayi leyendo su libro, and did everybody catch the bottle placement la última vez of her botella? Because of course, you know, she got she got to put it in one last time. Pero pues mira ya to the horizon, and mira que está un barco y helicopter, like, zoning in onto her beach. Y pues le dice a Sofía que se vaya para la casa. Obviamente, Sofía never pays any damn attention. Está, y Teresa está mirando para acá. Sofía está atrás de ella. It's like she looks back, and she looks forward. Y luego, next thing you know, Sofía dice algo. Twitter is like, está diciendo mamá, está diciendo papá, o está diciendo lupo. We don't know what the hell she said, porque a lo mejor lo dijo en italiano. Pero nomás se voltea, and then we faked it black, and that was the end of it. We better get a season three, and we better not wait eight fucking years for this shit. Okay, I'm very disappointed. Y I wanted to, like, get on here right after para que ganan mis, like, full-on emotions. Either way, go, déjenme saber en los comentarios abajo qué pensaron ustedes de la última semana. ¿Qué fue lo que gritó Sofía? ¿Qué fueron sus thoughts de Galletara, like, killing herself? ¿Debemos de agarrar una temporada 3 o ya que se cambie así? Hoy me teníamos que agarrar una temporada 3. ¿Cuántas veces miraron la botella de Kit del Castillo? ¿Tan contentos que Lupo y Teresa didn't end up together? ¿Quién pensaron en that big, like, happy ending del Scooby Game? Because I was not fond of it. Pero muchas gracias y un abrazote a todos que estuvieron conmigo toda esta semana. Se lo agradezco mucho. Pero espero que ya stick around and ya enjoy my other stuff. So, suscríbanse a mi canal si todavía no lo han hecho. No se les olvide tocar la campanita porque están notificados cada vez que pongo un video nuevo. Y I'm going to go ahead and do my outro like I do with my other videos. Till next time, I'll be seeing you at Concessions. Bye.